of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, yes, the king. Safety cannot be taken for granted in the high country, as Boon Boon and Urala found out. When he heard of Boon Boon's capture, Thara wasted no time in trying to find her. His search led him down to the plains, and after finding Boon Boon and scaring the living daylights out of young Charlie, who was convinced he had just seen the ghost horse his grandfather, the old prospector, had spoken of, Thara wisely retreated to a nearby stand of trees to await the coming of night before he decided on a rescue plan. Bird, the stockyard's too far away for me to see. The man is on her back and beating her with his whip, and she is bucking and trying to throw him up. The little boy is crying and telling his father to stop. I must go to her. Don't be foolish, Thara. It won't help Boom Boom if you get captured. It's almost dusk. I found a few shrubs and trees closer to the yards. We can move there, and then you can see what is happening and decide what to do. Let's see now. I'm sure I heard the boss's daughter. Must be somewhere around here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, she's a wild one, all right. Should fetch a good price at the rodeo. Bit of luck finding her, eh, Charlie? You coming inside? Time to think about dinner. In a minute. I, I want to talk to the horse. <laughs> Suit yourself. I <laughs> don't fancy your chances. <laughs> mm. They seemed quite nice. Quite nice? For relatives? Oh, yes, quite nice for relatives. But I wouldn't want to live with them. Oh, couldn't live with them. Not all the time. Nice to visit, but... Oh, nice to visit, but couldn't live with them. On the go, all the time. No time for a chat. Oh, run, run. Nothing but run. Can't fly either. Boring. And few trees. Oh, no forests, no mountains, no streams, no news. Wouldn't want to live here. Not as good as the high country. Oh, definitely not as good. Much nicer there. Shall we go? Where? Well, to the high country. Oh, yes. Good idea. Home. We should go. Oh, we already are. How sensible. I'm not going to hurt you. He shouldn't have done that to you. It's not fair. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Shh. 
There's a girl. It's all right. I'm your friend. Are you hungry, girl? Maybe you'll feel better if I get you some food. spend my life here till you rose out of the setting sun. Then I knew everything would be all right. But I'm so tired. Quick, Boom Boom, no time to waste. You'll have to try and jump out. But the yard is so small. Try, Boom Boom. Try again. Right. I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thara. I tried, but oh, the boy, quick, Thara, run. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I know your mate was trying to rescue you, and he's definitely no ghost. Aha! Mmm, got yourself captured, did you? Don't think your father will be very thrilled about that. <laughs> hey, and what have we got here? The pesky Thara. A rescue in mind, no doubt. And what's that boy up to? I can't stand to see you so unhappy, girl. The place is with the ghost horse, running wild and free. Not trapped in a yard. Charlie! Time to eat! Get yourself it! Charlie! No! This. Shut that gate! Let go! <gasps> boom Boom, let's go! <gasps> Trust that smart Abbott to get away with it. Mm. Must be dinner time. I smell something done. Hey, wait for me. Down, Boom Boom. We must stop. But the men! We must rest. You're exhausted and in shock after what's happened. We've got across the river, so we'll wait till the morning and cross then. We have to cross now. They'll come after us. We have to get away. But the river's wide and cold and the current's swift. We must wait till morning. Even if they did come after us, it's dark and they don't know where we are. Come, eat something. I'll stand guard. Mm. Interesting. But I had to. She was so lonely. She's a wild Brumby, Dad. I'm and... sick of this, Charlie. No more discussion. You've lost us a lot of money. It was worth it. You'll see. No, I won't, Charlie. They're long gone and we've no chance of finding them. You can go to bed without any supper. Now! <laughs> the things I do for the boss. Freezing is not my idea of fun. Speaking of fun, Boon Boon seems a little skittish. <laughs> it's just...
just the creatures of the night, Boon Boon. Relax. <laughs> Scared the man might turn up, eh? What a pity. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be sitting out here freezing. So... <laughs> yeah! Yeah! They're here! Boon Boon, no! Uh-oh. Oh, my fault the Brogger's dumb daughter jumped in. We've got to get out of this current. Swim across it. I can't, Zara. I'd never reach the bank. Ah! Boon Boon! <laughs> Keep going, Boon Boon. Keep your head up. Boom, boom. The current's sweeping us towards it. I'm trying, Clara. I'm trying. Hmm, how very interesting. Better report to the boss. meant to be creatures of the night. Our relatives never mentioned it. Not a word, just run, run, run with them. Quite. Run, 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 indeed. Hey, do you see what I see? Just an ordinary old island, Mew. What's so special about that? Well, look a little closer, E, and tell me what you see. <gasps> Two horses asleep. Perhaps they're tired. Tired? Or dead? Indeed. Dead. They look like Thara and Boon Boon. Thara and Boon Boon! Oh, we must tell everyone! everyone. Thara and Boon Boon! And marooned on an island! In the middle of a treacherous river! Or possibly starving to death! No food, you see! Bloated, waterlogged. Drowned, maybe. Oh, yes, indeed. Quite possibly drowned. A disaster, a catastrophe. Poor Farrah and Boon Boon. Can't stop. Must spread the news. Trouble with the emus, I never know whether to believe them or not. Be it truth or just a tale, both our friends we cannot fail. You're right as usual, Mopoke. We should round everyone up and get down there as quickly as possible. Yes, yes, yes. We must make haste. There's definitely no time to waste. Dead, you say? Lying still. Oh, still as can be. Farah and Boom Boom dead. Dead, yes, dead. Uh, possibly dead. Quite possibly dead. Possibly dead? Uh, nearing death. Nearing death, very good, Mew. More accurate. Uh, to the point, more precise, uh, nearing death. Uh, nearing, death, death possibly 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 dead, nearing death, possibly dead. Possibly dead. Nearing death, almost dead. Nearing death, possibly dead. Well, well, well. Got too clever by half, did he? Got himself and Boon Boon into trouble. Could be a vacancy for a herd leader. Possibly dead or nearing death. Possibly dead or nearing death, quite so. Oh, yes, quite so. Possibly dead, nearing death. Certainly in trouble. Oh, yes, quite definitely. Quite definitely, certainly in trouble. Well, I think I'd better see for myself. I really don't know what you two are talking about. You might have made it up. <laughs> <laughs> We'll show the way. What? Where are we? It's okay, Boo Boo. Just rest. <laughs> Nearly at the river. Soon be rescue time. Then news to spread. Brave Arrow rescues mighty Thara and gracious Boon Boon. Arrow to the rescue. Quite, quite. What if they're dead? Well, possibly dead. Nearing death. Oh, well, certainly in trouble. Certainly in trouble. Come on, hurry up. And then your ex 
extravagant large yes, as that idiot Thara forced her into a river at night, and she got swept away, and well, they ended up stranded on an island. I, I tried to stop Incompetent them. Incompetent dolt. What? <laughs> uh... If you'd come back and reported her capture immediately, you knew she wouldn't be in danger now. I hold you personally responsible. Me? Your fabulous unfairness? But it was Thaura! Enough! Thaura may be my rival, but he's no fool. Now, take me to this island. But your imminent eminence, I... No! All right, all right. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> I can't see a thing. I can. Well, so can I. Where? There! There, but where's there? Over there! Where? There! <laughs> oh, there they are! They're not moving! They're dead! And even if they're not, which they are, they can stay there forever as far as I'm concerned. Movement? Oh, I saw movement too. Oh, yes. Something moved. Off you go, Brave Arrow. Swim to the rescue. Into the river. See if you can help. Well done. Very brave. I'm not jumping into that. I can hardly see. It, it might be running fast. I'd be swept away. Swept away attempting to rescue his leader. Admirable. Courageous. Don't let us stop you. Oh, but I... 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> That'll teach him, boss. <laughs> Boon Boon, wake up. Look. Hey, what? <laughs> Arrow, you've come to rescue Boon Boon. Oh, you're alive. Yes. Why wouldn't I be? Ah, yes. Why wouldn't you be? Uh, well, the thing is, you, you can see the emus. Uh, oh, the emus. Just wait till I get my hooves on them. And the, and the brogger. Well, don't worry. You're here. I'm very grateful. Boon Boon's so tired and shocked, I didn't know what to do. Yes, I can see Boon Boon's alive, too. Good. Arrow's come to help you get back to the bank. Arrow? Eh? Did I? That's what I thought you said. Yes, that's quite right. When I heard you were dead, uh, possibly dead, or uh, uh, nearing death, uh, well, in trouble, uh, nearing death, in, in trouble, well, I came straight. Well, we're, we're very grateful. If that's what happened, Arrow, then thank you. Right. Now, uh, we have to get you to the riverbank. I think the thing is, uh, you swim across, and I'll tell you if you're going in the right direction, then. I think she'll need help, Arrow. Yes, she needs help. I was just going to say that, Thara. I'm sorry. Boon Boon. You'll need help. Of course, what I suggest is... Um... Jenny thoughts now? Maybe if we swim on either side of her, we could give Boon Boon support against the current. Well done, Thara! That was my first thought. We'll swim on either side of... Like... In that river. Do you know how cold and how swift... You're not scared, are you, Ara? Scared? Are you kidding? Right, into, uh... The river. Ooh, look! Ooh, I think they're going to attempt a rescue! Mm, a rescue? I'd better make myself scarce, or those cowards may not try it. I don't know if I can. I'm tired. You can do it, Boon Boon. You can do it, Boon Boon! Yeah, but of course, if you'd rather not... Let's go. Oh, all right. Let's go. <sighs> Here's a very good spot to stay. It looks as though a rescue's underway. Yes, Mopoke. I think you're right. On both counts. <gasps> They're in. How are you doing, Boom Boom? Uh, I'm tiring. I'm tiring. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, I'm trying. <coughs> I'm trying. Yeah, well, I'm cold and tired. How come no one's worried about me? Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> come on, Boom Boom. 
swim for your life. You can beat the odds and avoid all strife. I'll do it, Mopak. I'll do it. Come on, daughter. Swim. Swim. Oh, come on, man. Swim. Come on, Farrah. Oh, man. Thresh those legs and head for dry ground. They will be safe and sound. <laughs> Feet are touching. We're there. Yeah, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, you've done it. Arrow, say Thara and Boo Boo. Yay! <laughs> ah, Boom Boom safe. Go get them, you seething irateness. Whip those upstart brumbies into submission for getting your daughter into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You want to give them what for? They saved Boon Boon. I let them off this time. Three cheers for Brave Arrow. Hooray! 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 Thank you, Arrow. You're welcome, Boon Boon. It was nothing, really. Plunging into that icy torrent with no regard for my own safety. I'd do it again! Right now! No sweat! Oh, Arrow, full credit for the daring swim, but the truth you're somewhat inclined to trim. <laughs> oh, what bravery, Arrow! Arrow and Raven took the cascade from me. Uh, the strongest! And the fast one! And the smart! So Arrow finally came good and showed he could be brave. Even if he had to be forced into it. As for Boon Boon, it would take her some time to get over her experiences with Charlie's father. But the whole adventure made Thara more convinced that the herd had to find a safer home. But where? Gold has always been prized for its beauty and its dazzle. It's something of great worth and a color of warmth. But all that glitters is not gold. And what appears to be gold is not always what it seems.
When man brings gold to the high country, he not only brings beauty, but also trouble. The gold I speak of came from the plains below the high country. A beautiful golden filly. very pleased with himself. Mm. He's not usually this happy, so I'd say he's up to something. And I reckon you might be part of his plan. Where are we going? Beyond the Krakenback River. The Krakenback River? That's Brumby country. Oh, this is great! Oh, my mother was born there. I've always wanted to go there. Listen, anybody! Brumby country! Oh. Ooh, did you say something? Oh, I didn't say anything, eh, did you? No, but I'm sure I heard something. Mm, me too, no doubt about it. Let's find out what's going on. Mm. <laughs> Can anybody hear me? I'm Golden, and I'm going to Brumby country. <laughs> He's Captain Thalra. Ah, no, he hasn't. But why is he bringing this golden filly up into the high country? Whoa, who put that there? Typical, typical. Always something in the way. I... Horses. Always horses. Supposed to be a wombat track, you know, for wombats. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Oh! What are you laughing at, Featherhead? Must have been quite a storm while we were away, hey, Echo? Just a little further, girl. <laughs> You're never going to believe it, your wet and sandiness. <laughs> The man's got another horse with him. A new one. Are you listening to me, your flailing equinity? Not really. No. <laughs> Just like Thaura she looks. A pretty young thing. Huh? Now that I have your attention, sire, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Now, what were you saying, Karawong? Uh... <laughs> mm, sounds like Thara. Who's Thara? Some think he's a ghost horse. Son of the mighty Yarraman, who was once king of all the Cascade Brumbies. But I know he's no ghost. I've chased him right across the high country. He's real, all right. Fast and cunning, strong and handsome. Mm. He 
He's out there, Echo. And he knows we're up here again. I'm sure of it. Do you think I'll get a chance to meet Thaura? Meet him? Mm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Good girl, Golden. You're not quite the handful your last owners said. Whoa, whoa, girl. So they didn't get the Brumby streak right out of you, eh? A bit of spirit's not a bad thing. Might even come in handy. She's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. For a horse? For a horse, yes, of course, but very beautiful, very, very... Golden? Yes, very golden. What was her name? Well, she's golden. Yes, I heard that bit, but what was her name? Golden. Her name was Golden. That's it. We must tell everyone we know, everyone we meet. Mm, absolutely everyone, uh, especially Thaura. Yes, indeed, especially Thaura. Why especially Thaura? Um, because she is a very beautiful girl horse. And very golden. Yes. If only we could remember her name. Um, So he gets himself a horse that looks like Thaura. <laughs> Strange creatures, these humans. <sighs> that was a good workout this morning, girl. You can have the afternoon off. Echo and I will go and get some firewood from the fallen tree we passed. Sweet-smelling timber, that. Mm. Can't mistake the smell, eh, Echo? Too rare to cut down, but good fortune when one blows over. You're the same colour as Zara. Um, and he's very special. Are you special too? as hard as a rock. A softer skull wouldn't absorb such a shock. Yeah, that's right. Wombat coming through. So, I said to Thara... No, you didn't, Lee. I said to Thara, wait till you see what the man brought to the high country. Yes, that's right. And I said she's beautiful and golden, and her name's beautiful. Golden? That's what I said. <laughs> I think he meant that my name's Golden. Well, that's what I said. Anyhow... Mm -hmm. the... Back so soon? So quick? Well, I never. No, you never did, Mew. Quite right. You never. Must go. Danger. I'm the man. Bye, beautiful. Bye, golden. Well, this is a bit better. 
clean it all up and I can get through again. Very good, as it should be. First time a human's done anything good. Usually just get in the way and give wombat sore heads. Clearing the tree was certainly good, but you still have problems with that piece of wood. What? Oh, oh no. Typical. Typical. I should have known better. Always a problem, these humans. How am I supposed to get into me home? That'd be right, that'd be right. Have to fix up someone else's mess by myself. Having to fix a mess is rather sad, but your life as a whole isn't so bad. Oh, be quiet. Yes, yes, and her mother was a Brumby. Mm, so she says. So she says, yes, and she wants to be free. Mm, so she says, to roam the high country. So I said to her, if you want to be in the high country, mm, you've got to keep running around the world. That'll be handy on a chilly night, Echo. And a bit more wouldn't go astray. Hi, Thara. The emus suggested we'd find you here. No horse as beautiful as that should be locked in a yard to be a servant of man. Oh, don't let your heart rule your mind, Thara. It's too risky. Whatever you're thinking. I'm thinking she should get her wish. To be free. Hmm. I'll save her. Oh, she doesn't need saving, Arrow. She's not in danger. She just doesn't want to be stuck with the man for the rest of her life. I don't care if you lot don't care. She needs my help. And she's going to get it tomorrow. As soon as I come up with a plan. <laughs> Arrow is a friend. Who needs enemies? <laughs> right, Storm. Listen, Thara, whatever devious plan is ticking away in that mind of yours, if you're going to do anything to free her, you'd better do it tonight, before Arrow mucks it all up. I thought you warned me not to get involved. Well, as long as you're careful, that's all I... There you are. Oh, my, you were fast. Must have taken a shortcut. Mm, what's happening? What's happening? Yes, what's happening? OK, OK, here's my plan. Emus, you can help. Your job will be... Oh, job. 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 Your job, my job. A message for you, lovely. Golden. A lovely golden. It's a lovely message. From Thara. Tonight. What? It was tonight, wasn't it? Oh, definitely tonight. Mm, yeah, yes, I'm mm. sure of that. Mm, well, practically sure. Mm. I'm sure. Mm, well, if you're sure, then uh, that must be it. What must be it? Tonight! tonight. Too much to ask. No consideration. Having to dig a new entrance. I'm almost too tired to look for food. Typical. Typical. Oh, you! You, you imbecilic laughing bird brain. You. Hey. Poor old wombat. Bad luck at landing on your front door. You should have waited. Wouldn't have had to dig another hole. <laughs> oh, typical. Typical. And in the dead of night, Thara will sneak down and somehow set her free. The things these cults get up to. You don't seem very concerned, oh exalted and carefree one. That filly is going to end up joining Thaura's herd. Of course I'm not worried. Let Thaura take all the risks if he must. Once she's free, I'm sure she'll want to join my herd. The best in the high country. That's more like it, your devious vileness. Let them be foolish. <laughs> I remember when I... Of course, I... that doesn't mean we can't take advantage of the situation. See what you can do about getting that pesky Thaura into a real spot of bother. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, sire. 
now. <laughs> made more sense. Oh, those emus are very silly birds. <laughs> more book, more book. <sighs> Make sure before you leap that the man is still and quite asleep. Thanks, Mopoke. That's exactly what I'm doing. A filly wondrous to behold might be glistening but is not gold. She is very beautiful, Mopoke, but that's not why I'm here. She wants to be free, so I came to free her. Just before your mind goes snap, just think the man has laid a trap. I am being careful. I've longed for more, but I've been with the men all my life. We can chase the wind and run the high country together. No man ever on your back, no ties. Ah. Just free. Oh. It's what I heard you wanted. Steady girl. Take it easy. Steady. He'll be back. And I'll be ready. He was waiting for me. Mopoke! Mopoke! It was a trap, Mopoke. I should have known. Think again, Thaura. Take your time. Perhaps a friend can help this time. What do you mean, Mopoke? <sighs> I just have to be patient. Then I'll have that Brumby. He'll be back. Huh? <sighs> Coming from the other side this time. Come on down. I'm waiting. Thaura! Follow me, Golden. Don't even think about it. And quickly, we haven't any time. What the? What's going on? Golden! Golden! I could have sworn it was him back on that ridge. <laughs> then, when I've got the man cornered, you know, I'll be rearing above him and he'll be trembling with fright. Yes, yes, most admirable. Mm, and exciting. And exciting, bold even. Mm, bold, oh, oh yes. Oh, we can't wait. Knew you'd like it. Well then, I'll call out to Golden to start kicking down the railing. Yes, and yes, and then? I'll race to help her and... Too late. Huh? No, it won't be too late. You see, because the man... Too late! Mm, definitely too late. No, I don't think you understand. Hi, Arrow. Huh? I'd like you to meet Golden. Hello. <coughs> Wise, wonderful Thara. And Storm too. You've saved Golden. Oh, brave and clever Thara. <laughs> Not a sign. 
Not a sign. So Thaura gave Golden her wish. A home in the high country and a new life of freedom. She might have escaped the burden of man, but her new life would bring many other burdens and many an adventure.